computers of covers and cozies, mm, ready-made soles in plastic bags, negligible generalities. Mr. Trilling, would you uh, identify Mr. Montserrat with a, that definition of a Philistine? Well, I, in this particular instance, yes, I think I would. I think the book is shocking. Uh, I'm glad that it's shocking. I think we have a lot of shocking books. I think we need to be shocked, but it's absurd to call it debased. It's anything but that. It's the critics, as, as Mr. Nabokov knows, have said a great many things about this book. I'd like to see if he agrees with them. I'll quote some of them to you. Uh, one critic called it a satire on sex, a mirror of human frailties. Another said that it was a joke on our national cant about youth. A third that it was a cutting expose of chronic American adolescence and shabby materialism. Is this so? Is this what you were intending? No, I, do, I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, first of all, um, I, 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 do not, I don't wish to touch hearts and I, I don't even want to affect minds uh, very much. What I want to produce is really uh, that little sob uh, in, in the spine of the artist reader. Uh, well, I, I leave the field of ideas to, uh, uh, to Dr. Schweitzer and to, to Dr. Givago. Uh, and uh, when you say satire, you, you imply a purpose, uh, an object, uh, an awakening, uh, apart from and beyond the dream of the book. I have invented uh, uh, in America, my, my America, and just as fantastic as any inventor's uh, America. And would you be attractive? I well, I, I think I think that uh, you have noticed, but some reviewers have not noticed how helpless and, and how lovely she, she, she is. It was it was it was fun to to, to breed her in my uh, in my in my own uh, laboratory. But but I'm not uh, concerned in holding up to uh, in holding up public abuses to to ridicule or or, or, or or that kind of thing. But there is there is an underlying uh, well, tone of yeah, satire. Yeah, the but now you know, if you give uh, you give to satire its its initial uh, its original uh, sense of Macedoine of fruit salad, uh, satira, uh, then perhaps my, my dish is, is, is good enough for that, for that purpose. But you say that your book isn't meant to produce emotions in readers. I'd like to ask Mr. Trilling, as we move over, over here, if it didn't produce some emotion in him. Oh yes, mean. it did indeed. I, it, uh, I found it a deeply moving book. Mr. Nabokov may not have meant to move hearts, but he, he moved mine. He may not have meant to affect minds, but he did affect my mind. Uh, and I think, uh, uh, I found it the most, uh, More than touching. a tingle at the end of your spine, as Mr. Nabokov said. Oh, yes, uh, yes it was, uh, 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 you can't trust a creative writer to say what he, what he has done. Uh, he can say what he meant to do, and even then we don't have to believe him. Uh, no, I was deeply moved by the book. I think it's one of the most moving books I've ever known. But Mr. Nabokov is also saying, as I gather, that he has no message at all in this book. Well, I don't feel I have any uh, special message, uh, and uh, well, if, if 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 you ask me, for instance, whether my my own ideas are those uh, of which I'm uh, which which the member, character. No, I, I I would say no. Of course, he's a European and a man of uh, letters, as I am. But I've been very careful. Uh, I didn't really care to, to separate myself from him. Uh, for instance, the good reader notices that uh, Humbert Humbert. Uh, confuses, um, uh, just to take uh, an instance, uh, hummingbirds with uh, hog mouths. Now, I would never do that being an entomologist. Uh, You're an expert in butterflies. I am, I am to, to, to a certain extent, and, uh, but, uh, and I would never, I never do, do that. Well, there are many other things, uh, uh, many other matters which, uh, which, I, which I, which I leave to him. Well, there, there, I think nobody would uh, suppose that the author and the uh, hero uh, would well, have well, anyway, it, it, has, it has been supposed, it, 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 it has been supposed. Well, Humbert Humbert, and besides several odd tastes, also hates American motels. He despises them. Yes. Have you this feeling? Yes. Uh, no, I, well, I'm, I'm I say that some absolutely delightful motels where I've been very happy, very happy with Humbert Humbert, uh, writing the book, uh, but uh, which I could not use because uh, the book is slanted in a different way. You would see a motel as something rather grotesque? Uh, no, not necessarily. A motel can be anything. But well, let's get down to the really intriguing point, Mr. Nabokov. What gave you the idea for Lolita, the story of a middle-aged man and a 12-year-old girl and their love affair? Yes, yes. How did you start? Well, in a, in a little uh, in a little uh, after piece which I which I have to my book, I I, I talk about the, a certain ape uh, who was uh, taught to use a charcoal and um, to sketch the the bar and the first thing that that, 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 that the, 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 the fallen animal did was to sketch the bars of its own cage. You see. 
Is this an analogy? Uh, uh, well, I, yes, I, I, I read that, st that story in a newspaper, and if I try to rationalize the, the impact of that image, I would say that, that my baboon, Humbert Humbert, because after all Humbert Humbert is a baboon, baboon of genius perhaps, but a baboon, uh, is, uh, is doing exactly that, you see. He is, he is drawing and shading and erasing and, and redrawing the bars of his cage. The bars between him and uh, what he terms the human herd. And this cage, uh, I take it, is this obsessive and rather frightening love. It is a uh, girl. Is, yes, it, 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 it is his, his, his passion, uh, the, 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 the pattern of his, 